Greetings, this is Jim Todd with Video Surgeon, and in this week's weekly video tip, we'll discuss the use of video from DVDs. The first thing we need to talk about is the options that you have when it comes to DVDs. If you go to the uh, RIP window after you've inserted a DVD into your DVD drive on your computer, it'll open up and if it doesn't go to your DVD drive, you'll need to browse here and select it. But assuming it does, you're going to have two folders, a video TS and an audio TS folder. You're going to select the video TS folder. And in here, you're going to be selecting a .vob file. And you can see that these .vob files can be quite large. In fact, the common size for storing them is one gigabyte. So it is a very large file and it can take a significant amount of time uh, depending on the speed of the computer and the number of CPUs to rip these files. So the first thing I'd like to briefly discuss with you is whether or not you should rip them or whether you need to rip them. And what do I mean by that? Well you've got a couple of options here. If you want to store video, the data, in one of these VOB files as a standard file format like an AVI or an MP4 or an MOV and you want to store this standard audio format on your computer then you're going to need to rip these files and so if you select one and then you select a format click open it will begin the process of ripping and it will save it here to the rip folder as it shows you right here now this process once done simply converts the VOB file to whatever format you've selected, in this case an AVI file. Once it's ripped it and placed it on your computer and stored it in this directory, then your second step to access it is to go to the open button and browse to the location of this ripped file and select it and then Video Surgeon will begin the process of importing it. So there are really two steps, both of which are going to take some time because these are very large files. However, if you don't care about saving the VOB file in a standard video format, then the easier thing to do is simply to copy the VOB file. So to do that, I'm using my Windows Explorer tool on my computer. I'm going to the DVD drive, I'm going to open the Video TS folder, and here we're going to select, right click, and then I'm going to select copy. And once I've done that, I can now paste it um, and save it somewhere on my hard drive. I've already done this, and I've saved it to my downloads folder. Okay, so if we go to the downloads folder, and I'm going to sort these by file types. Scroll down here. You can see that we've got a couple of different VOB files, and there's the VOB file that's right at a gigabyte. So what I'm going to do then is to grab this VOB file and drag it and drop it onto the Video Surgeon interface. And what will happen when I do that is that Video Surgeon will open this file or it will start the import process. So what that is doing for you, it is eliminating the first step, which is the ripping step. It's simply skipping the ripping because we don't need to save this or we're not interested in saving it as a standard audio file format. We're simply going to import it and open it up in Video Surgeon directly. So if I grab this, drag it, and I drop it, it'll begin that process. And here you can see it's starting the importing process. So this is the first part of this section on using DVDs in Video Surgeon. And there are several other important suggestions that we have, but this is the first of them. So I would encourage you to consider this and that I would also encourage that you consider following this video series next week as we talk about the next suggestion on what you should do with regard to in handling these very large files that are found on DVD so you can most efficiently use them in Video Surgeon. Thanks for watching.